When have you ever seen an MMO obey the laws of physics as when you chop a tree down on a slope and watch gravity pull it down that slope as it should? This impressed me so much, Freedom Family, that I had to share it with you. It is a new game by Amazon built in the Lumberyard graphics engine called New World. The brand new MMO launching August 31st, 2021 that I will show you highlights of and why it impressed me so much. We are also a game publisher on Steam as Freedom Games, so we can appreciate a quality MMO like New World. The graphics are amazing when you're outdoors, but you have to be observant and look for the things that you need like nuts hidden among the bushes, among the grass that you can't use. And here are some more nuts that I found at the base of this tree. When you're at town, pay attention to everything around you. Cows, you can milk them. Milk is something you need for cooking and you can also do fishing. With fishing, let's listen. You need to uh, handle the tension of your line so the fish doesn't get away. Here I caught a small fish for cooking, but not only fish, you can also get lucky and sometimes find a clam. Clams can have pearls that are gems that you can use in jewel crafting. When you are mining, you may find oil. Oil is in the marshes and as it should be. And when you're in the wilderness, always be looking around you for resources like like this iron vein, which has an amazing echo because we're out on a canyon. And this is a smaller vein. When you're also exploring mines, be on the lookout for special silver veins, which are much more rare and hard to find. And here you can see another player is mining another vein. He's competing. This is the whole MMO aspect. You have to find the resources first. What do you use them for? Crafting. Here I am crafting a rough leather boots. It's an, I got a lucky uncommon with plus two constitution is plus four focus. And you have to bind the item to your character if you choose to keep it and use it. Now, you can chop down trees, as we've already seen, but you can be environmental. You can choose to only chop the dead trees. Here is a dead tree, and I can get the same lumber from these trees instead of deforesting the entire game from live trees. In terms of combat, there are many easy shots, like this turkey. I used a bow to hit the turkey. I could have missed. It's an action combat system, which means you have to aim and people can dodge. You can dodge projectiles. Here I am skinning the turkey to get some poultry and feathers for, uh, for arrows. You actually craft your own arrows, but you need feathers for them. Here I am trying to shoot with my crafted arrows a bear. Then I switch to my <laughs> switch to my uh, sword, and I get mauled by this bear. Look at my health. It's lower, it's lower, and I'm dead. This happens often in New World. Here's an alligator. You notice that 12 and the mark around it? This is like an exceptionally care. difficult character. So here I am playing with my friend. It's a fight now. Oh! That's oh. Curtis. And I didn't, I told him not to shoot the guy, but he I, did anyway. So I went in to help him. And here is a combat 2v1. It wasn't the right move. Go. All right, I did a mistake. He's shooting from afar. I'm trying to keep his attention as the melee class. And we got him. We were able to take down this level 12 a oh, semi I don't even think I can. I don't have skinning skills to do this. Semi-boss fight, and no. he couldn't even skin it. It was such a high right. level. I had the ability to skin it, and so I'm using my skinning knife that I also crafted to get the alligator hides and uh, the raw hides useful for crafting. Now, you can also crouch, as I'm doing here. When you crouch, you are less visible to your opponents. And I am attacking a high-level lion here. And notice what happens. This is dodging. I'm trying to use my shield to block so I don't get hurt. And then when I see that he's going to attack, I will dodge out of the way. Right there. 
See, I, I totally avoided getting hit by that swipe by timing it uh, correctly. Now it is difficult, you have to get used to it. There I did another dodge and I uh, got out of the way of his, of his pounce. Again, perfect dodge. The pounces will knock you down and do uh, high damage. So it takes a lot of practice to get used to being able to survive in New World. Now it's not only uh, alligators, cats, and um, uh, alligators, cats, and other animals. You also fight undead and other monsters. Here I am in the forest hunting some undead. Again, a high level compared to my level. I'm only level 11. This one's level 17. So you have to be very uh, smart about your combinations, about blocks. And here I'm doing very badly, getting my ass whooped by this guy. But you saw I always opened up with my bow, then I switched to my melee with shield. And there I did a good block. So you need to be very careful and smart about your abilities. You have, you saw a whirlwind there. That, those, those have cooldowns. You have to time them correctly. And here we are at a beautiful waterfall, again, with my friend Curtis. All right, I'm going. He's got much better looking coat than uh, I do. I don't know. Here we're in the waterfall, under the water, enjoying. I'm like totally underwater. Enjoying the scene, and look what happens. This is we. I die. We both died because what? we drowned. I didn't know I was drowning. We didn't actually know we were drowning at the time, but we're at death's door again, a common occurrence. I am just scratching the surface of this new MMO. There's many more things to cover, like factions, sieges, dungeon crawls, and you can even get territory reputation to give you boosts in mining, crafting, XP gain, based on where you invest your time in the world and build your reputation in those areas. But I won't go into that because I don't want to spoil the game for you. Try it out. Tell me down there in the comments below if you've been playing New World or plan to. It's in the closed beta. If you buy it right now, you'll be able to play it until August 2nd when they'll shut the game down and then open it fully for everybody with a full character wipe on August 31st. There's no subscription. You buy it once. You get it forever. There's no pay to win. It's a great MMO because... After you buy it once, you can play it as long as you like. As I mentioned, we are a game publisher as well, so we can really appreciate the quality of a product like this. We have 20 games, 20 games that we've signed so far, Freedom Family, that are all coming for you to play. We are paying 110% revenue share for each of them. You make any video about any of the games we publish, you earn 110% revenue share. Just go to www.110.tm to check out our 110% dashboard and simply sign up, submit your videos, and get paid 10% more than what YouTube pays you forever for every video you make. Now, one day we hope to publish a game like New World, an MMO of this caliber, but not today. However, I'm very happy that Amazon is able to get this out the door. Next month, this will be live. And I hope to see you guys in game. Should we make a guild? Should we play together as MGN and Freedom? I'd love to know. Who would join our guild? Tell me down there in the comments below. And I'll make more videos as we get further because I think this game deserves it. But if you have videos about New World, link them to us. Send your videos down there in the comments below so we can feature them in future episodes of The George Show or deserving creators. We actually have a team of writers that we have covering New World at www.mgn.gg. So check out the ultimate beginner's guide, the 12 critical tips and other things we've created to help you get started in this awesome game. All right, Freedom Family. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom, and I hope you'll enjoy everything we're building for you from Freedom Games, to Freedom Talent, our talent management agency, to the communities we're going to be creating around the games we publish, as well as great games like New World, and many other things we have coming for you in terms of music, in terms of publishing, in terms of more ways to help you grow faster. I 
until the next episode, Freedom Family, make sure you get your exercise every day. Stay fit and healthy. Don't just play games. Get out there and play the game of life. It's an important game that you should always be participating in. Level up. Uh, how is your muscles doing? Uh, how is your fitness doing? All these things that you can measure as a gamification of your own character that you are building in your world. So don't forget the real world and have fun. And don't die too often in the games as I just did here. Take care. Till the next episode. I am George and you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.